Okay guys, we are here in Orlando, Florida. And uh, right off of the I-4 at a Marathon gas station. And we are just gonna do a quick sprint speed test on the uh, 2.5 band 41 Spectrum and see uh, if it's any good or not. Okay, 55 uh, down and 1.51 up, which is not good. So that's the nature of Sprint with uh, their TD LTE network. Ping times, mm, not that great on this time. Download speeds dropped a little bit, but and the jitter was really bad. Oh my goodness, that upload. That's probably where that's coming from, is the upload. <laughs> they gotta do something about that. So I'm gonna try to turn on uh, 5G. If you turn off Voice over LTE, 5G goes away. And basically, as soon as you turn it on, it's there immediately. So now we're going to see. I'll go into the engineering screen. I don't know if it's going to show anything, but. Let's see. It's LTE. Here we go, 5G. It doesn't say, um, in certain markets, it'll say how much bandwidth is using, and from what I've seen, at least in Ericsson markets, it doesn't tell you. I don't know why. Um, so, then it's using the three carriers of band 41 also at the same time. But yeah, we'll run a speed test and see, same spot, and see what happens. The pings are better. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, wow, and the upload, massive increase on the upload. Let me run that one more time. Great ping times all of a sudden. Yeah, this isn't a flu. I wonder if it can hit 200. Mind you, I'm not, I'm, I don't know where the tower is. I'm probably not too far away from it. Um, at 108 dBm though, I'm gonna have to say it's not close. That's mid-range not quite edge of cell, but that's mid-range. And for it to be pushing speeds like this that far away, that's pretty impressive. If I could actually find the tower, uh, you might see even higher speeds, but not bad. Um, let's go back to... Oh, yeah. 
one more time. Let's go back to uh, to just regular band forty one because. I have to see this. Okay, so you got that. 20. Yeah, all three carriers are here and present. And let's one more time. There's some people um, that see a big difference between Sprint's 5G and their regular uh, LTE Plus, and there's some people that don't. It's very market dependent, I guess. But I can tell you here in Orlando, and uh, also from what I've seen in Tampa, the difference is pretty big, as you can see. So, uh, yeah, I'm out. And I'll be back tomorrow doing some speed tests in at Universal Studios. So, all right, later.